welcome to another exciting edition of 360 Africa. It's reaching you from Afro Vibes TV and radio station. And uh, I'm Chris the Teaser, even known as DJ X to the Max. And of course, my radio and TV colleague is also in the house, DJ Sugar. How are you doing, my brother? Hey, what's up? DJ Sugar in the house. We're about to do what we know how to do best once again. And um, it's going to be fun all the way for the next uh, 30 or 40 minutes there about. That's right. That's right. And today on the program, we're bringing you something special. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, our special guest today was once, uh, I would say, my radio colleague back in 2006. We actually started the very first edition of 360 Africa back then. But, you know, she had to uh, step it up and uh, <laughs> go into the music <laughs> industry. And she's really, really waxing stronger. I'm talking about no other than the queen of Bermuda. Correct me if I'm wrong. Bermuda, yes, yeah. you said Bermuda. it. Yeah. I said it right, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because we were, I was practicing that. Because I, I, I said queen of Bermuda. And she said, nah, it's queen of Bermuda. Yeah. And I'm talking about none other yeah. than Cameroonian superstar Naomi Archie. Naomi in the house. Yeah. Thank How you, you guys. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm doing great. Thank you. All right, all right. It's a beautiful it's sunny day in Georgia. Yes, it is. It is. Welcome it is. To Atlanta, hot yes. Atlanta. Yes, yes. definitely yes. hot Atlanta. See. Thank you. Yes, uh, more like a homecoming for you. Uh, when last were you in Atlanta? Um, it's been maybe about a month or two, about two months maybe. Okay. Yeah, so it hasn't been too long, but before that, it, it had been a while. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I uh, understand you're also in town for the Red Cross show, right? Yes, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. I was there. It was amazing. Great okay. turnout. It was very organized. Okay. Yes, it was It was lit. great turnout. Amazing cars. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it was definitely worth, Better than last worth year, the right? trip. So, I, I didn't make it for last year. So if I may ask, it was a, it was a car show, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, was it based on, on uh, inviting music artists? Or, uh, Drivers. Well, I think. Well, I think. Well, I guess it, it's however he wanted to do it since it was his car show. So mm -hmm. whoever is doing the hosting gets to decide what they want. But I think it really was about cars because you know he has a passion for cars, mm -hmm. and then he invited everybody who owns you know a fancy car mm -hmm. to show their cars, and then he awarded people. I think I, I think there was like a first, second, third prize for. Right for the best car and the, oh, best, okay. and the best painters so it you know to encourage the community of course and then he had his you know his friends come perform with him so he performed Meek Mill performed um Gucci Mane was there um so yeah no, oh, okay. Well, it's a great show, then. So yeah. Great so, show. Okay. so, so did you I buy any car? I didn't buy any car, but you know, I <laughs> I went there. No, I went there to show support as a brand ambassador because you know I do. You know, I support Bel Air and Bamboo. Oh, so okay. I just, I literally, I just went there to show support. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Great. So, so yeah. Uh, just to start straight. Uh, mm -hmm. Talking about your music. Yeah. Uh, if I may ask you for people that uh, meet you for the first time. Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you, what kind of music are you into? Uh, you know, you're from Cameroon. Yeah. Say, yeah. They do Afro beats. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I would say um, Afro beat, Afro fusion, okay. uh, and you know I like to. I, yeah, I think Afro beat is now an African thing. Yeah. Right. The same right. way I'm a piano is an mm -hmm. African thing now. Right. It came up from South Africa, but now everybody has adopted it. Mm -hmm. um, Makosa came out from Cameroon. But I think, you know, a lot of other countries have adopted that as well. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty about music is that, you know, it just becomes, you know, I sing reggae, you right. know, but I, I'm not necessarily from Jamaica. Right. Um, but yeah, so I would say Afrofusion because I put a little bit of culture in everything. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you would say your music is Afrobeat? Afrobeat, Afrofusion, yes. Right. right. Yeah, because sometimes I'll have, you know, like Pepper Them is I'm a piano. It's more of an I'm a piano beat than a. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I. 
Uh, okay, you want to say something? Uh, just, just to chip in, I know before we started the show, we were talking about um, how Reggae took over the whole world in the yeah. 90s. Yeah. The artists in America did something on there about with an, uh, a reggae artist. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, people, now, people are now saying Afro beat is the future. Right. So now for you now, what what do you think? Uh, I know you've been you've been around for a while. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think comparing what we have in the music industry in terms of Afrobeat mm -hmm. and what we have in the past? Do you think Afrobeat is the future, or it's just there to stay for a while? I think it's the future, but I also think that there's such a thing as evolution, mm -hmm. because the pop music that we hear right now is not the same pop music from ten years ago. You know, mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's all I can say. This um, I think right now. Is, is the time for Afrobeats. Um, and I think, you know, Shabaranks was shining in his time, and now we have Afrobeats, and there's a lot of artists that are shining in their time. Um, it's, it's the same with technology. Right now, we have AI going crazy. Right. You know, we didn't know about AI five years from now. We were not ut utilizing AI. So it's right. all about, you know, um, Taking advantage of what's in front of us right now, and this is this is the time for Afrobeat. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I agree with yeah. you. Because look at what happened. Uh, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago? Bonaboy just sold out an eighty thousand capacity crowd in uh, yeah in London. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. this is the very first time an African artist will sell out such a huge. Capacity. Yeah. You understand. If someone told you that like four or five years ago, you would feel that was going to be impossible. Right. Yes. But I think a lot of entertainers and Afrobeat entertainers, we always kind of were waiting for that crossover. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you mentioned the selling out of the stadium, but don't forget there has been a lot of contribution from um, non Americans, I mean, non Africans to the Afrobeat world. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, we have had, we've been blessed by a lot of. Um, um, heavyweights, American heavyweights, to bless, to, to produce an mm -hmm. Afrobeats album, mm -hmm. to get on a song. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have, you know, a, a, a number one selling um, uh, rap artist, R&B artist from America mm -hmm. get on an Afrobeat track and right. bring it up. So right. I do right. want to acknowledge the contributions of people from outside of the country. Right, right, you know? right. The Snoop Dogg, um, yes. Rick Ross. Yes. I remember when uh, mm -hmm. Akon had a, a collab with P Square. Right. That right. was one, one of the first kind. Even Rick Ross. Yes. P Square. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that was like the, the birth of, you know, Af Afro, Afro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Meek yes. Mill yes. jumping on DeVito's album yes. and uh, Drake jumping on Whiskey's album. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so so I, I want to acknowledge that, especially being um, an Afrobeat artist in the diaspora, it's important to to not just say, okay, well, we did it by ourselves. I mean, I like to think that we grow as a community. That's right. And we support each other. And mm -hmm. now, not let the cat out of the bag yet. I know you might have that in cooking. I know definitely you might be on top of, you know, yeah. Something like that very soon, right? Mm -hmm. Was that collaboration? Correct. Well, in God we trust. We, 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 uh, Rick Ross Casio, mm -hmm. I know behind the scenes, some, some discussion would have come into Oh, she, she, she already met Rick Ross. Uh -huh. In she God, met Rick Ross, she met Busta Rhymes. You see it already? <laughs> in, in God we trust, you know, it, it all, it's all about the business, right? You can, right? you can get into the studio and create the best song, but it has to be the right time, it has to be the right promo, and this, the right signatures have to be signed. Mm -hmm. It's so much that comes, you know, comes out with, you know, putting, on a, putting out a hit track, but I'm very open. I'm just here making music, whether it's me or whether it's a collaboration. I'm just here to elevate the community mm -hmm. um, and to make music because it's what I love doing. And uh, I remember you are a two-time Afrima Awards winner, right? Yes. Let's yes. talk about that. Okay, so uh, 2021, um, I won an Afrima for um, Best Diaspora Female Artist. Okay. And then um, I had 2016, I won for um, Best Inspirational Music for my song Busy Body. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah. Awesome. yeah. Awesome. Um, I, I really appreciate the Afrima platform um, and what it's doing for Africa, for Africa as, a as a whole. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just applaud all the promoters mm -hmm. and the and the DJs mm -hmm. and the um, event people who put events together and mm -hmm. all you know all the big names that yeah, are you know yeah. coming together to just elevate and, and, African and music. Has, I mean, that's one of the biggest uh, yes. awards in Africa. Right? Yes. yes. If yeah. not the biggest, I think it used to be the Cora, and then exactly, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, 
exactly. Yes, yes. So, so it used now to it's be, a free man. I mean, mm -hmm. I would say that's the African Grammys. Yes, it is. So to yes. speak. You yes. Know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, and they're doing great. Um, I think um, it started off. I think Nigeria has been hosting it for a right. little bit, and then right. I think it went to. I can't remember last year if it was Ivory Coast or Sudan. Ghana has hosted it yeah. once. So, I think it's a great initiative to be able to take it to different uh, parts of Africa. Parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's talk about your forthcoming album. Because mm -hmm. I know you're dropping an album this Friday, right? A single, yes. You're dropping yes. A, oh, it's yes. a single. Yes, I have a okay. single coming out this Friday. It's okay. called uh, Waiting All My Life. I posted it. Um, it's on my IG page. Okay. I'm really excited about it. Of you course. know, Because um, I recorded it somewhere where I, didn't, I, I don't normally record. Oh, where's um, that? Well, out of okay. town. I recorded it in Miami. You know, oh, normally okay. I record in like California or DC, but okay. um, I recorded it in Miami, okay. had it mixed and mastered, final product from Miami. All right. So um, oh, hopefully awesome. Miami will bless me. Absolutely. You know? The producer, does anyone that we know? Or so the, the person who made the beat is actually, um, he's, uh, he's, he's based in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, and it's it's interesting. That's what ha that's the beauty of uh, the digital platform is. You know, you can meet somebody online. You guys talk. You catch a vibe. Right. You know, you listen to sounds, and if the sound comes together nicely, you just take it, go record. So, he's um, he's actually um, in Nigeria, okay. um, but the engineer is here in the United States. He's in Miami, so he he recorded, okay. mixed, mastered. Um, right. So, yeah. So, when you say Friday, so from Friday, we'll be able to download us on social media platform, or is yes. it going to go to some radio station first? No, Friday it will be available everywhere. All social media platforms. Yes. On All, every yes, platform. Yes, every platform, Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, it will be available everywhere. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Talk about yes. this song again. Mm -hmm. Let me just go back a little bit. Yeah. Do you have any intention, any plan to remix any of your old songs, maybe to infuse some new you know, beats or beats? That's, that's a really good question. So the intention is, you know, Pepper Them has been going crazy. You know, we've been yeah. doing, you know, people know have been one. dancing. <laughs> yes, yes. And, you know, when I perform it, people go crazy. So um, we're looking to remix it for the summer. So in addition okay. to the single I have, in, I have coming out, Waiting on My Life, mm -hmm. I'm hoping to remix remix pepper them with um, somebody who catches the vibe and knows how to pepper them. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to keep that a secret, right? Yes. Yeah, we're going to keep it a secret until <laughs> it comes out because you never know, you know, we might find one person and then another person gets excited yeah. and they jump on it. So, yeah. so we just never know. So all the songs are written by you? I write all my composed songs. Composed by you? I write all my songs. Oh, wow. You sure? You I do. You don't have ghostwriters. I don't have you? a ghostwriter. And it's not like I don't I don't care about having a ghostwriter. I'm mm -hmm. very open to having a ghostwriter. Mm -hmm. But um, I just, you know, when you're an independent artist, however you feel is however you write. Right. But I've had people give me songs and say, hey, Naomi, you know, sing to this. And mm -hmm. I'll listen to it and I, I make an attempt. Right. I'm a, I like to think of myself as a songwriter even before being an artist. Mm. Yes, because of the way it started was because I'm the last of six children. Ooh. You know, so, okay. and you know, and when you're an African okay. girl, you already have it. Everybody has set, planned your so life you're for you. you one, right? You know what? And I'm not even spoiled. But at that time, I was. Okay. But everybody had some, had a plan for me. You know, mm -hmm. I had big, I have two big brothers, three big sisters, and then my mom and my dad. So everybody had everything planned for me. Mm -hmm. So I never really had a voice. Mm. You know, so when I started writing, then people started to listen to me. So right. I became a songwriter because I, I wanted to have a voice gotcha. as a little African girl. And then I started singing because of that. And then I got inspiration from Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Angelique Kijo, and, you know. Mm. I was about to ask that. that every artist, they have a certain yes. inspiration. Yes. So when you were growing up, who was inspiration? Mm -hmm. You wanted to like kind of be like this person? Yes. Like growing up. Yes, yeah, yes. Right. So definitely Michael Jackson. Everybody loved Michael. Michael Whitney, everybody loved Whitney. Um, Angelique Kijo. That's you know, right. and rightfully so, because I mean, I mean, right and there. right now she still is the reigning queen. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think rightfully so that I would, you know, look up to her. Mm -hmm. um, Brenda Fassi too. Uh, Wes Madiko is from Cameroon, so okay. big ups to him. Yes, um, we were we were very close before he passed away during the pandemic, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Manu Dibango, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. he's Cam mm -hmm. yeah, those are yeah Cameroonian. Yeah, so I mean, they all paved the way for what we know now as mm -hmm. the rise 
rising Afrobeat, Fela Kuti. Right. You know, they all paved the way. And I always, I always go back and I always say thank you. Thank you to all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to digress a little bit. Yeah. Now, you know, when you're popular and you have a lot of fame mm. in the music industry, strange things happen to you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, yeah. my question is, have you ever experienced anything like that? What are my strange things? Mm -hmm. What are my strange things? Like juju? I mean, you have, <laughs> I to, you have to expand shit. Like strange things like what? I mean, I'll put it to you this way. Anything that happens around me that is strange, I grab my pen and I start to write. Mm -hmm. so, you know. Okay, well, let me put it this way. Have you ever had, one time had any regret? Mm hmm about going into music? Um, no. Like something happens to you and you feel no. like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have, you know. No, I love my music. I've always loved my music. Mm -hmm. Music is just, it's just, I love music. I've never had any regrets Okay. about my music. Um, yes. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah, sorry, go ahead. You, you, no, yeah. So if I'm chip into that, mm -hmm. so now most, most artists that I know, sometimes they enter some contract because, you know, they saw this kind of feel, you know, this thing coming to them, okay, if, if I sign you on, yeah. I'll give you a car, I'll give you a house, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, maybe like after like two or three albums or two or three tracks, mm -hmm. they found out that they, were, they, they wrongfully signed. They were ripped off. They were ripped off. So yes. in, in terms of that, have you ever regretted like kind of mingling with the kind of management that you, you felt? Have you ever had like a management Yes. I think issues, yes, you know, yes, oh for sure. Say. Oh yes, okay. I understand your question. You were trying to be politically correct, but he kind of broke it down for me. Yes. So <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Honestly, like um I think you're gonna come across that. But nothing has been as damaging. Right. Nothing has broken my spirit. Mm -hmm. um, okay, good. Yes, nothing has broken my spirit. I've actually, I've had, I've had people that have broken my spirit, but not, not contracts. Okay, gotcha. Yes, gotcha. yes. Not, I not, think not music. Yes, I think who was it? I was uh, watching a video. There was this um, entertainer. I think was it Brett Michael. I've, I've forgotten. He said something like, "When you're an entertainer, you have to be prepared to get your soul broken." Mm. You know, I like to look at other entertainers and see what they've done and mm -hmm. kind of you know uh, a feed from them. Like right. Lauren Hill would also tell you that she has to live life in order to put out quality music. Right. You know, so we have to go through these experiences. We have to go through these strange things right. in order to be a, a, to, to be able to appreci appreciate, appreciate our lives right. and to share with others and mm -hmm. sometimes pain is what makes us put out the best work yeah. oh yeah absolutely you know, so you gotta so be ready for surprises yes yes yes, Lo yes lots and lots of surprises yes yes and i think what helps me what keeps me going is looking at the glass as half full as opposed to half empty mm -hmm. because you know and as a creator you're always very passionate about what you put out you write a song you put so much passion into it you're crying over it and you want it to be received by the world mm -hmm. you know sometimes it's received and sometimes it's not but you have to keep going because that is your self-expression and nobody can take away your voice right right you right. know your voice cannot be duplicated there's only one naomi there's only one you know nobody can be you it doesn't matter right yeah right, right. so let me mm -hmm. try to shake the table a little bit now because i so when it comes to Afro hip hop, mm -hmm. artists, yes, I know you have some people that maybe either you like the way they do stuff or you know that yet. So who are your favorites among the contemporaries? Oh, my favorite contemporaries, you, Naomi Achu. Naomi Atri is my favorite contemporary um, that's artist. That's you. Yes. You know why? Because I want to. I'm. I'm very happy to call names, but I want them to shout me out too. You know, oh. I'm in a space where, like, I'm ready to sh show support. I'm, I'm on my I'm page. I'm with you on that. Yes, I'm on my page supporting people. I support the ladies. I support the gentlemen because I believe in, like, if you, yeah, I will shout you out on my page. But I also want the female artists that are watching this video to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to shout Naomi out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my job to shout you out. It's your job to shout me out. That's way, that way we grow. So right. let them let them put me on. <laughs> I want them to put me on. Got you. For them to say, okay, you know what? Now we let's do a song together. Yes. And jump on it, right? Yes, I will. Yes, I'm very open. Like this summer, um, I'm ready to, you know, do collaborations, get on tracks, make some noise. I'm very open, both with girls and with guys. 
Okay. Mm -hmm, because I've noticed, I mean, if you, once again, you've mentioned certain names on this platform, and a lot of them have grown because of collaboration. Okay, okay. So since you don't want to mention <laughs> names, I'm going to ask you. Yes. So what kind of music will we be surprised to see on your iPod or your iPad that you listen to all the time? Oh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> what kind of music? I listen to everything. I listen to, I listen to, to every, some classical music because, you know, my dad loves his Tchaikovsky and all that classical music, Mozart. Mm -hmm. So you hear, you see classical music, you hear Kevin Gates. I love Kevin Gates. Gotcha. Yes, I love his rap. You hear all the, you know, all hip hop, all hip hop. You, you, you of course, you're going to hear Rick Ross. You're going to hear um, Taylor Swift. I listen to everybody and everything. Okay, what about African music? African music, everything, from Makosa to Afrobeat to you just I'm a piano. Some names when it comes to America. Uh, yeah. Now, mention yeah. names. When why? She, no, she's trying I... to avoid that African. <laughs> No, you know why? why? Because I want them to. I want them to shout me out as well. Okay. You understand? You have you ever heard of the bride who is always uh, the bridesmaid, but never the bride? Oh. Have you ever heard of the bridesmaid who is never becoming the bride? I don't, I don't it understand that. It means the person, it means <laughs> the person no who is always the is. person who is always shouting people out, but uh -huh. they're not shouting her out. But oh, they okay. but they see what they're they see what she's doing. They go to her page. They see what she's doing. Right. And right. then they stick they up, and up. they emulate that. They get inspiration from it, and yeah, it's fine. Like but then they don't give her the props. So I want them to shout me out. So whoever's watching this video, I feel like you know I want to receive my flowers. Gotcha, gotcha. You know I give flowers. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, I actually I give a lot of flowers even to a lot of Afrobeat artists. Oh, I really okay. do. Even okay. artists from my country, I have no problem giving flowers. But right. this is my time to say I I want to receive my flowers. If right. I feel like if you work hard, mm -hmm. you know, if you show up, you know, if you support, you should also be shouted out. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. because what happens when you when you water a plant, it grows, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you don't water that plant, what does it do? It withers. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm here to grow. Okay. So what's your uh What's your other hidden talent besides music? <laughs> uh, my hidden talent, I mean, I can cook a little bit, you know. Okay. A, a little bit. All right. You know, but it's not, I can cook, but I just, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that I'll get up and be like, I'm running to the kitchen, but I can okay. cook a little bit. I can, I can dance a little bit. Okay. Oh no, um, no, that that one we know. <laughs> that's still that that's still attached to music. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, that's true. That's uh, Natasha Entertainment. Right, what right. other hidden talents do I have? Um, uh, I don't know if it's a hidden talent. Okay, you know, I'm a great listener. People okay. people have said I, I am a great listener. All right. Um, a lot of people call me to tell me, you know, to talk to me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in another life I would be a counselor. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, wow. I have I have Wonderful. pastors calling me to tell me their problems. Really? Yes, I have. I have. I'm curious. Yes, what, what I have. Is, big what did the pastors tell you? Oh no, just they tell me. No, they literally tell me their problems, like give church, me, just church give me an problems. No, like they will tell me everything. Because you, I, I think I have like a safe space, nurturing. What I don't know if it's a Virgo thing. I don't know what it is. But people, literally, I even have people who are much bigger is it than me. Problem with their female church members? No, not at all. Okay. No, not at all. No, these are these are <laughs> actually. <laughs> no, these are devout pastors who are like you know, in my eyes, are walking upright. But they just want to talk to Naomi because Naomi's going to listen. And she, Naomi's going to give objective. Oh, gotcha. You know, she's not non judgmental. Mm. So I have big sisters that call me you know talking about their husband like they're like 15 years older than me they're like can you imagine he did this and i'll be so, like uh, yeah also i and really think so yes and i enjoy it actually and that's a natural talent i think it, yes it's very Cause, natural because you didn't go to school for that yeah no i didn't go to school for that right. but here's the funniest thing that when i start telling them about my problems, they're like oh naomi i'll call you back they don't want to hear my problems but they want me to sit and listen to their, so problem. their problems <laughs> okay got you got you got you well that's not bad but it's That's okay. Nice. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> what, uh, at, okay, I think Sugar already asked you that question and you try to dodge it. So I'm just going to throw it question? out one more like time. Which, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, which artists are you really dying to work with? Female artists. Female artists, Erica Badu. Ah. Yes. Yes. That's, that's very unique. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. She's, she's, 
Her energy, I think her energy, and her style. Her style. Mm -hmm. I would, I would love to work with Erica. But everything about her is different. Yes. She's yes. different. Yes. Personality. Yes. Spirituality. Yes. Everything is different. Yes. You never know what you're gonna Generally get with unique. with Miss Badu. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. Great. Great. Yes. Well, um, I guess uh, time is about that's, up. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, possible. yeah. It is. Everything is possible. Anything is possible. So yeah. So. But Erica Badu, amongst many others, of course, but that's just one. Right, right. Yes. So what makes you happy? What pisses you off? Oh, food makes me happy. I food. Love, I love the piece of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? You said food makes you happy? Food makes me happy. Really? Oh, yeah. And a good beat, of course. Like when I'm in the studio and I hear this bouncing beat, oh, my gosh, I just uh -huh. start dancing. Okay. Um, so what pisses you off? What pisses me off? Being, oh, my gosh. Late. Being late, well, I think I think as girls we we kind of we, we we no lateness doesn't pit really no well someone trying to snatch your boyfriend. Eh, <laughs> don't mind me. I don't no because I don't fight over guys. Mm, smart. Yes, I don't fight over men. I smart. fight I fight for my kids. That's right. You know, right. um, what really pisses me off? Really? Okay, so I don't know. I just I can be very impatient. Okay. With certain things for like when I'm when I'm in the studio and I'm trying to write something and mm -hmm. when I'm in work mode right. and like you mentioned timing, like when right. we're about to when we're about to run out of time, I start to start to panic because I'm like, mm -hmm. am I gonna finish what we need to do? Mm -hmm. But I don't really say it's pissing me off, but that's what makes me anxious. Okay. Gotcha. Let, let me ask you mm -hmm. this. I know most yeah. artists one time in their lifetime career they had this beef with a fellow artist mm -hmm. and that's for so long. Have you ever, yes. ever had in your career a long term beef with a fellow artist, upcoming artist or an artist that has been, you know, above you? Mm -hmm. Anytime. I don't think so. Okay. If somebody has beef with me, I don't know. Okay. Right. You know, because I don't I don't lead off of that energy, but I understand how two similar artists can have beef. Mm -hmm. I've seen it, I've watched it, and I understand. But if I have an enemy or if I have beef, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've always been in a good relationship with everybody. Yeah, I, I just try to show up, show love, you know. And with me, if I have a problem, if I'm concerned about something, I'll say, well, you know, we could have done this different. Mm -hmm. people, so that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, they solve people's problems. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, you know, right. so and I think it's the mother nature. The I think the mother nature aspect that's inside of me that really shows out in certain ways. Right, but mm -hmm. so was life easier when you ain't famous? Was life easier? Mm -hmm. I don't think life is ever easy. Life is not easy. Nothing. I mean, you you, you grow like up what in I mean Africa is when, when you mm -hmm. ain't famous. You yeah. Know? Compared to where you were famous, which one was easier for you? Well, I prefer, I think I prefer being known. Okay. I think I prefer being known because I feel like I'm more protected, I'm, I'm more watched. Gotcha. Like if I step up in the club, there's somebody that knows me. So when if Naomi disappears, they're going to be looking for Naomi. Okay. Right. So I like the fact that people are watching me and holding me accountable. I like to be held accountable. Gotcha. I know that sometimes my actions are either going to help me for the better or for the worse. And people are looking out for me. So it gives me a sense of pride and a sense of being, mm -hmm. being able to affect my community in a positive way. In a positive way. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's yeah. wrap things so. up because uh, we... So, Literally out of time. So what are your plans for the future? My Any plans for the future? Plans? Well, the, the, the song that's coming out on Friday. On Friday of course. Um, no yes. For it. yes, yes. And uh, music video, uh, more collaborations, mm -hmm. uh, lots of shows. I'm going to be performing at the Days of Summer Cruise coming up in July. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, DJ Khaled is going to be there, the baby future. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be where, hot. Where, where's that? Uh, Miami? Days of, yes, it's leaving from Miami, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leaving from so, Miami? And going yes, to... is it Jamaica? I can't. But it's like a. Oh, I it's, believe like a, it's a cruise. It's a cruise. Oh, yes, it's a cruise ship. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Days of Summer Cruise. So I'm gonna be on there performing um, my new song, of course, and other songs. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just to chip in, uh, one or two advice for upcoming artists that you think are uh, trying to trying to step in your shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say yeah, just. So uh, I would say stay humble and stay consistent. Mm. Yes. Yes. And. Um, who was it that said this? Um, um, people will always lose faith in you. 
Got People it. will lose faith in you at some point, but you must never lose faith in yourself. That's right. And you always have to stay humble. And repeat words of affirmation. Mm. I am the boss. I got this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm smart. I'm talented. I'm creative. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win it. Just mm -hmm. keep on reaffirming yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win the Georgia lottery. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna split it with huh? everybody in this room. Um, <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh it all depends on how much I win, though. What? Okay. Hey, well, even if it's one dollar, we are splitting. <laughs> we are splitting. <laughs> and on that note, let's go. Yeah, me, I like it.